This video is going to show you how to install CyanogenMod 10, aka CM10 or CMX, whichever way you'd like to say it, on the HTC Evo 4 GLTE. Some of the first things that you're going to want to go ahead and do is if you notice, I have some apps that have updated. So what I need to do is open up Titania Backup, which is not something you have to do, just something I recommend. Wait for this little thing to stop spinning. Alright, now check this, which is the batch option. What you're going to want to go ahead and do is back up all user apps and system data and then press the checkbox and now you just wait. The backup is now complete. I didn't want to record the whole entire time. The second thing I recommend doing is going to your Google Wallet app. I have not set mine up yet so I do not need to do anything here but normally you'd press the little menu button, go to settings and then reset Google Wallet. At this point we are going to reboot into recovery. What I do is I use either Quick Boot or MeanROM has it built into the ROM where you can just reboot into recovery. If you're hooked up to a computer, you could just ADB reboot recovery. In this situation, we're just going to hold down the volume down to the power button until we see the until we see the bottom lights flashing, which they're doing right now. Keep holding them. Keep holding them. Let go and then press them again. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. There we go. You do not need to be S off. It is much, much, much easier to install this ROM if you are S off, but if you are S on and unlocked, I will put a link in the description and you're gonna have to follow the guide and get it working yourself because once again, HTC snuck in some extra crap in there that prevents you from being able to flash the kernel while you're in recovery. People that are flashing other synth ROMs that come with different kernels other than the stock ones are realizing they're not getting that kernel. You have to use either flash image GUI, HTC dumb lock, which is included with the latest twerp recovery. Oh, yeah, let's do that real quick. I almost forgot. We need to update our recovery. The easiest way to update your recovery is to download Goo Manager from the Play Store. It'll be this little green icon that says goo.im and then press your menu button and choose install open script recovery. Press yes. Basically, if you have an older twerp recovery, this will update your twerp recovery. And if you're using clockwork mod recovery, I highly recommend switching to this. It's completely up to you. I do have this version installed. If you've rebooted the recovery and you know exactly which version you have and it is this one, then you don't have to continue. But I'm gonna go ahead and press yes anyway to show you the process. It's gonna start a little countdown. And now it's downloading the recovery. It's a very small file, so it doesn't take long at all. Sometimes it will reboot on the screen and sometimes it won't. It says recovery has been installed and we it did not reboot us. That's just a way to make absolute sure you have the latest recovery installed. Now you can hold the volume down and power buttons like did earlier or you can use quick boot or some other method of getting into recovery. If you hold volume down and power like I did at the beginning, just press volume down to choose recovery and then press power to select it. Normally I would recommend you press backup, choose what you want to back up. If I was to do it right now, I would have all but the recovery and cache checked and then I would enable compression, uncheck skip MD5 because you want to have an MD5 so when you're restoring it, you know that what you're restoring is exactly what you backed up. And then I use the external SD card and set backup name. I highly recommend choosing whatever ROM you're currently on. For example, I'm on mean ROM 33. So I would type mean ROM 33 and then press go. I'm not tempted at all to back up my current ROM. It's having issues. So this is what I recommend to you. Instead of going here, which you can do, it's completely up to you. Press wipe, factory reset, and then you can start wiping cache, delve it cache, whatever you want. What I'm going to go ahead and do, and what I recommend anybody out there watching this video do, is download Super Wipe. I will have a link to it in the description of this video. And then just swipe it to flash it. 
it's going to wipe anything and everything within a 10 mile radius except your internal and external SD cards. And yes, I've had to get stuck on checking system partition for a couple minutes. Just have your phone plugged in because you can actually charge your device while you're in twerp recovery which is something you can't do with Clockwork Mod. So you can have your device plugged in and let it sit for two to three minutes. If it still has not moved, it's okay to hold the volume down and power button until these flash a few times, wait for the screen to turn black, let go, press volume down power again. You know, once you get a bootloader, press volume down, press power to choose your recovery, and then install that zip like you're doing right now. I've actually had to repeat it to get it to work properly. Take it for what it's worth. This part right here will take a while sometimes. Alright, that's enough. As you'll be able to see, the time is yeah, a little bit later and the battery's a little more charged. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do like I was saying earlier. Just keep holding it, ignore everything. Just keep holding it. And holding, and holding, and holding, and holding. Alright, let go, and then press it again. Da, 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 da. There we go. Like I said earlier, press volume down and then press power. All right, so we're gonna try that again. Install, super wipe, swipe to confirm flash. Let's see if it, oh, it didn't hang that time. See, if it's like me and it gets stuck, just force it to reboot, reboot into recovery, and install it again. Do not press reboot system because you do not have a system. Press home, install. We need to find where we placed the zip. The first thing you're going to want to install is the Jewel Latest Nightly. It's available on git.cm. Press on it and then swipe to flash. Pay attention to the little clock. I'm not going to put up how long everything takes because it says right there what time it currently is. Alright, we need to flash one more thing. Install Google Apps, the Jelly Bean ones. Because we're flashing a Jelly Bean Android 4.1.1 ROM. Swipe to confirm flash. This does not take long at all. If you do not flash this, you will not have the Google Play Store. Now you can reboot the system. The Galaxy Nexus, the nightly that just got released, I think yesterday or today, whichever one. Yeah, yesterday. I flashed it and it has the new Cyanjamod boot logo. So I wonder if this device has the new one as well. Let's find out. Is it going to have it? It does. It has the brand new Sanjumod 10 official logo. So when I do my video on how to flash the official Sanjumod 10 nightly ROMs on the Transformer Prime, it will have the same exact boot logo as this. Any CM10 ROM that's been updated will have this boot logo no matter what device it's on. You still get the force close when the phone first boots up. You only get it that one time. Just press OK and you won't see it again until the next time you reboot. All right, so we are logged into our Google Play account. I didn't want it to restore everything. I kind of wanted to start fresh. Oh well. Next. Next. Now I did a review of this ROM recently, and I'll put a link to it in the description. It was based off the unofficial version by Kushdeck. He is the maintainer of this ROM, and it has graduated from an unofficial version to an official nightly. So not every night, but most nights, this ROM will be updated. I need to change Wi-Fi access points. The router in the living room just, ugh. It's so far away that internet's really slow. I highly encourage you to check out the description and watch the review video. Basically since then, once again it has graduated from an unofficial build to a full-blown CM10 nightly, meaning that it will get frequent updates. You do not have to update it each and every night, but it is recommended to go on there every now and then and install the newest one. You can open up your browser, type in git.cm, look for Jewel, J-E-W-E-L, and then download the one at the top. This will eventually go on Goo servers, so you will be able to go to the Play Store, search Goo Manager, press install, then press accept and download, and open. It will ask you for root permission, and then whenever you have an update, and if it gets put on the Goo servers, you will get a little notification saying that an update is available. Oh, actually, it's there right now. Sweet. Nightly. Yep, it's there right now. Team Win, CM, Jewel, 
This is the unofficial build that Kushnik was making. And this right here is the official Saj Mod 10, just like any other device that has a maintainer that's official. Before, the camcorder did not work, but I believe it does now if you change it to standard definition, not HD. It won't let me choose it. Let's try it again now that it force closed and we chose 480p. Go ahead and reboot it. You get all the typical science and mod stuff like reboot into recovery, just do a normal reboot, vibrate, silent, loud, and then we're going to choose reboot, just do a normal reboot. I love being able to reboot my device like that. I hate having to power it down, wait for it to fully turn off, and then if you go leave and do something, you totally forget that you turn your phone off, or at least I do, and then you're like, why didn't I get any phone calls? <laughs> Keep in mind that when you install this ROM the very first time, it's going to take a while to start up. All other reboots should not take long at all. Uh, for example, let's see how long this one takes. Wow, see? Look at that. Did not have to fast forward or do any editing at all. And of course you get your typical process failed. Eventually, when this becomes more stable, that will go away. But like I said, you only get it when you first boot your phone up. Go back to the camera. Choose video camera. Okay, sweet. See? Video mode does work. You've got to choose 480p, and if it does like it did for me and it doesn't do anything, just simply, you know, let it force close, reboot, and then choose a camcorder again. Like, we'll start recording. Is it recording? Okay, obviously, there's work to be done, but this is official. This is from the Sanjimon team, and I definitely highly recommend installing this ROM, at least trying it out. But like always, just make sure you keep a backup of your old ROM in case you don't like it and something just does not work for you. 3G works, LTE works, NFC works, pretty much everything works. There's just things that need to be straightened out. But this is a nightly, experimental, it's not stable, it's not a release client. This is for bleeding edge people like me that do not like synths at all. Again, I made a review of this ROM, I'm not going to go into full detail. If you want to check it out, links will be in the description of this video. If you like this video, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up, please. It lets me know that you liked it and you want to see more videos like this. Over the next few days, I will be doing SGS3 videos when it comes, and I do have that Transformer Prime CM10 video right around the corner. I'll get to working on that as soon as I can. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Just click the little subscribe button. It'll notify you when I post new videos. I do videos on multiple devices. I'll be doing the SGS3 very soon, like I said. Again, I'm done talking. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.